In this video, we'll look at the net ionic equation for NH3 plus HCl. So let's first look at this in the context of them being gases. So if we have gases, we'll end up with solid ammonium chloride. And it's a very interesting reaction. These two gases come together and you'll have almost a smoke or a white cloud of this solid little particles of ammonium chloride. If this is the case, we're already done with the net ionic equation because when we do our net ionic equations, we don't split apart gases or solids. So that's it. This is also a balanced molecular equation since all the atoms, each type, are the same on both sides. More likely, you're going to be given aqueous ammonia and aqueous hydrochloric acid. So let's do the net ionic equation for that. So aqueous ammonia, and then we have hydrochloric acid, aqueous and then this ammonium chloride will also be aqueous. We'll assume there's enough water so it's dissolved as well. So we have our balanced equation. We've written the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. For ammonia, this is an important one to remember. This is a weak base, so it's a weak electrolyte, and we're only splitting the strong electrolytes apart. So this is still going to be NH3 aqueous. I'll write the states at the end. Plus, this is a strong acid. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, strong electrolyte, so we're going to split it apart into its ions. We have H, which is 1 plus, group 1 on the periodic table, Cl, that's 1 minus. So we'll have H plus, that'll be aqueous, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. So these are the reactants, and then the products, the ammonium ion, a very good one to remember, has a 1 plus ionic charge. That's on the whole ion. We have our chloride ion here. So we'll have NH4, that's the ammonium ion, plus the chloride, Cl minus. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in those. The only thing I see it's the same as the chloride ion. We have Cl minus here and in the products again. So let's get rid of that and this is the net ionic equation for NH3 plus HCl when we have aqueous ammonia and hydrochloric acid. Let's get rid of the chlorides now and add the states. So this is our net ionic equation. And this is probably the one that your teachers are expecting you to write. You notice that we have a positive charge over here, positive charge over here, and mass is conserved as well. We have a nitrogen, nitrogen, three hydrogens plus one is four, four hydrogens here. So it's a balanced net ionic equation. But we should talk about what happens when we put ammonia in water. So let's do that. So we put ammonia in water, so NH3 plus H2O. So maybe we bubble ammonia gas through liquid water, and we end up with NH4OH. In this case, this is an equilibrium. So some of this is changing to the NH4OH. Some of the NH4OH is breaking down back to the ammonia water. Only a little bit of the ammonia here is actually moving to this side of the equation. But it's important because when we put our NH3 aqueous here, we really have this aqueous NH4OH. So we could rewrite our net ionic equation to take that into account. That would look like this. So here, instead of this NH3 aqueous, we're saying it's NH3 plus H2O, it'll produce this ammonium hydroxide. So we're going to add ammonium hydroxide to our hydrochloric acid. Then we can write the net ionic equation. So I'll write the charges here. We said plus, hydroxide is minus, plus, minus, plus on the ammonium ion, minus, water's a liquid, we don't split that up. So when these dissociate, we'll cross out the ammonium, we'll cross out the chloride ion, and our net ionic equation will be H plus plus OH minus gives us H2O. And we often see this with acid-base reactions. Here we have an acid and a base. So this is kind of maybe a more accurate net ionic equation for what's happening when we put NH3 plus HCl. Although your teacher probably is expecting to have the one that we did previous to this. This is Dr. B with probably more than you wanted to know about NH3 plus HCl, ammonia plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.